Hey everyone, this is Megan Brown from Military Spouse Magazine, and I am so excited to be here with you today with seasoned military spouse, Christy DeWitt. She is a recently retired military spouse and the Director of Business Development and Sales for Nomadis, an amazing jewelry company that we're going to tell you all about just in a moment. Thank you so much for being here with us, Christy. Thank you, Megan, for having me. I'm so excited. Me too. So tell us a little bit about yourself and your journey as a military spouse. Well, um, I, my husband recently retired. He's been retired about a year. And so that's different. We also are empty nesters. So it was a, it was a whole new beginning for us. And, but it's been exciting. Um, he joined the military in 1997. And so we were in for 23 years. We um, were, he was Marine Corps and so we were stationed um, about nine different places, but moved uh, eight, eight times. Um, so uh, we've been all over, we've been fortunate to live all over the world. And um, uh, rec most recently we spent uh, the majority of the last 10 years in and around the DC Quantico area. Um, and that's where we are still today. So it's been amazing. I loved being a Marine Corps spouse. And uh, I'm also, uh, my son is a um, Marine Corps reservist. And so I'm a military mom, which was totally exciting and totally different. Um, but I love it. We're proud of him and his service to our country also. So uh, that is amazing. That is amazing. Okay. So I did some, some internet looking, right? I, I creeped before this interview because I was so excited. I love Nomadis and I can't wait for you to tell our audience all about these amazing pieces of jewelry. Tell us a little bit about Nomadis and what you do for the company. So um, what I do for the company is morphed a little bit. Um, I, uh, my title is Director of Business Development and Sales. Um, for the most part, I'm the day-to-day -day operations of the company. Um, right now, we have um, uh, the financial part of the company, which is totally um, secured by Jennifer, my business partner. We have the creative end of it, Melissa. And she's everybody loves Melissa because she designs the pretty charms and um, is very creative and does that. And then Marika Landon is our director and she is the visionary and problem solver and um, uh, really uh, kind of the, um, the glue that holds everything together. And so um, that's the four of us. Um, and Nomadis is started in 2009 with 10 Little Charms. We have the trademark with the military, uh, all five branches. And so we've been able to make their logos, emblems, dog tags, all that stuff in charm form. And then we have added in MOS charms, patriotic charms, life moment charms, and duty station charms. So I love the duty station charms. They're so cute. I love I them. I was shopping a little while ago. Guys, you have to check it out. You've got to go to the Nomadis website and check out their shop. So we have been stationed at Columbus, Mississippi. We've been at Keesler. Okay. We've been um, at Warner Robins, which was a cute little peach. I it cannot is. wait. I can't wait to put all these cute little charms together on this beautiful sterling silver bracelet for myself. I know what I'm So getting. at Warner Robins, do you know that the theme in the town is every day is Military Appreciation Day? Did you Yes. Know? Okay, yes. so we have those, we have those letters engraved on that charm. We, we engraved that saying from Warner Robins on that charm. Oh, that is so cute. These are detailed, uh, very detail oriented charms. We, um, and if we don't make it right the first time we go back and fix it. And we've done that several times. So I love that the Warner Robins charm had a little painted peach on it. It was so, so cute. And so one of the things that I loved, one of those, you know, those signs that people have in their house of like, home yes. is where the military sends us. And they have yes. all these cute stations. How cute is that, that you can have that bracelet on and share where you've been? What a cool way uh, to talk about your story. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh. I don't have it on because it makes too much noise when I'm on a video. <laughs> <laughs> but it is adorable. And so when I heard about your company, I was really excited to talk with you and share more about what you do. Um, really being an entrepreneur takes a certain kind of grit. You have to be a little crazy in a good way to pull off some entrepreneurial magic. And so I wanted you to talk to us a little bit, one, about what it was like to be one of the first early military spouse entrepreneurial companies in our space. Tell us a little about that. So um, I, ju I just want you guys to know, first of all, uh, for you who are starting businesses right now, you don't know how good you have it because 
there was a time when there was nobody helping military spouse businesses. Um, we didn't know the first thing about social media. We didn't know the first thing about scaling a business or any of that stuff that wasn't even on our radar. Um, and so uh, there was a lot of just trial and error. And um, when something didn't work, we were one of the things I think people are afraid of is if they if they start something and it's not going how they want it to go or it's not working exactly, then they quit. And we one of the things we just determined was that we were not going to be afraid to pivot when we needed to. And we've pivoted several times. And um, so it was just honestly just working. Um, I think it's important that you have people that you trust that work in your company. And we've always had that. Um, we've had different owners in and out and people who've worked for the company, but always, we've always had the same goal in mind and the same mission. Um, and so it has been exciting. And um, there have been some not exciting times too. Um, <laughs> that was my next question yes. <laughs> is to tell us a little bit about the joys and the difficulties of being an entrepreneur, because <clears throat> it's not always sunshine and rainbows. No. Um, so I think early on, um, I don't know that everybody in the company had to do this, but um, there were some, some of us, but by the nature of the job that we had, where we were working si anywhere from 60 to 70 hours a week. Um, and that was just the fast pace of the kind of business that we had, which was jewelry, creating, um, things like that. Um, also, we were a direct sales company in the beginning. So that's a whole beast in itself. And so learning that end of it um, was just a lot of hours. And we all were moms. We were all military spouses and spouses in general. We were members of our community and we had uh, swim coaches and I was involved in my church and we had all these other things that were that we were responsible for and so it was a lot of um, it was a lot of long hours um, but I, I think the thing that keeps us going and that the thing that we always come back to is um, when somebody comes back to us and, and shares a story or says that or the charms mean something to them and they were meant something to them in a, in a time and so I think that has been uh, one of that's one of the joys is just hearing uh, the customer story and you know we think you know we see the charms over and over again and then we you know we get somebody and they just like go on and on about you'll never know what this gold star charm means to us we didn't even want to make that charm we didn't and gold star moms came to us and said that's not your decision it's part of our story. We want you to make the charm. We were like, okay. <laughs> um, you know, we didn't want to make money off of a gold star wife or mom. And they were like, that's not your decision to make. You you share our all the story. And so we made that charm. And so um, it's the, it's just the people sharing it that that like mean the most to, to us. And that's why we keep going. I have a quick story. Marika was at Disney World. She got separated from her kids. And she had just in the morning put on a bangle bracelet with an Eagle Globe and anchor. And uh, she got separated on the tramp. They were older, so they were fine. They probably separated themselves on purpose. But anyway, <laughs> um, she got on this tram by herself and there was an elderly couple sitting across from her. And the elderly man reached out and grabbed Marika's wrist pretty, pretty firmly. And the woman took his hand off of Marika and said, I'm so sorry. He has Alzheimer's. We're here with our grandkids. And um, this will probably be the last trip we take because he just kind of doesn't know what he's doing anymore. And Marika said, was he Marine? And she said, how did you know that? She said, he wasn't grabbing my wrist. He was grabbing that Eagle Globe and Anchor. And the woman just got tears in her eyes. And Marika took that bracelet off and gave it to the woman and said, thank you for your service. And listen, so on the bad days, on the 70 hour days, on the days where you can't get your computer to work or social media is off or what? I wasn't ready, Christy. <laughs> I'm sorry. <I> wasn't ready. <laughs> I'm ready now. I'm ready now. <laughs> that is amazing. That I, I mean, it's I all love, of those things are what yes. it's the stories that make us keep doing this. That is so beautiful. And I think um, one of the ways that we do this guys is we have a little bit of a preliminary interview because I love getting to know 
all of these amazing military spouses and what they're doing and how they're impacting our community. And we were just talking about how this community has made an impact um, and I say community, it's a company, but I think that's what's so beautiful about what you do, Christy, is that you've created a community where people can have a space to share their story and something as simple and beautiful as a silver bracelet. And yeah. I think the thing that I love to hear is that we can share where we've been, the milestones that we've come across, the celebrations, yeah. right? Um, I, I was looking through the charms and I actually was able to finish a bachelor's degree between two PCSs, two deployments, one kid, a partridge in a pear tree, and, and we right. wrote and released a book all during the season. And what a cool way to celebrate what we've done as a military family and also invite others to celebrate that with us. And so absolutely, I love what uh, Nomadis stands for and how you do this. And, and really where I want to close us is for those of, of us in the military spouse community that are coming up with the next great idea, what encouragement would you give the next generation of military spouse creators? Um, well, I would just say this, you guys have been given, um, and you may not know, and we can guide you <clears throat> in helping you find these things, but you have been given a wealth of people out there who, who do know how to scale a business, who do know how to do social media, who doesn't, they do know how to do graphics, um, all of those things, because this community has come together. And so you do not have to do this by yourself. You don't have to do this by yourself. There are organizations out there. Do I mention those? Or? Shout out to AMC, Moni Jefferson. Okay, listen, <laughs> she is the literal best. She is. And Jessica Birch with Powerhouse Planning and Sarah Cope and Rosemary Oaks. There are people out there that can help you with the website. Listen, I'm the least technological person that y'all will ever meet. There are people out there who are willing and want to help you guys with your business. Listen, if you have an idea, go for it. The worst thing that you can do is not do that. And that. need to pivot, pivot. Don't be afraid to do that. And no matter if nothing else, we cheer on people who, who are coming up behind in whatever business you have, whatever, if you're selling something or if you're a creative or an, a nonprofit or whatever, we are cheering for you. Um, and these other organizations, the Rosie Network, there's so many out there that are just cheering for you and can help you and give you resources. And so um, you don't have to have 70 hour work weeks. <laughs> All the time. I love these it. Days. Christy, thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to hang out with us, to encourage the readers and listeners in this article, but also just to give us um, that little punch of story that we need uh, to celebrate our accomplishments. Thank you so much for being here. And we're so glad to hear all you had to say. Thanks so much. Thank you.